children welcome to Eclid learning so uh, this is the uh, first chapter for grade 10 and this is the third video for that but uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos uh, there are separate videos for grade 6 7 8 and 9 and for grade 10 for the first chapter there are two more uh, videos um, I have uploaded so you can watch them uh, then you can start watching this thing so this is the grade 10 so uh, better to have some kind of foundation knowledge uh, by watching uh, previous videos for uh, like uh, other grades right so yeah so this is the um, third video for uh, grade 10 first chapter information and communication technology so uh, we know what we basically do in this uh, subject right so here basically we need to um, get the information right we initially have a data uh, we process it and then we get the information and this information is very important for the decision making right so it's very important to exchange this information among different parties right maybe different people maybe different systems so this is the basic idea of communication of information so this uh, processing and exchanging information has been done uh, from ancient time but with the technology with the introduction of computer this has become more advanced right so technology is using and if you convert the data into information and if you exchange those things we call it as information and communication technology so that's the basic subject uh, we are learning uh, hopefully you may have learned this from grade six uh, so you may have some idea what actually we are doing in this subject so next uh, part is uh, 1.4 that is application of information and communication technology so today especially with this uh, covid situation ict is very important and it's playing a huge role uh, you may have experienced when we started with this corona situation in march uh, 2020 uh, our country was really struggling, especially with this e-shopping, e-education and these areas. We were actually struggling because uh, most of the systems were not up to the level of using uh, real technology. But uh, now it seems a bit um, like stable kind of uh, or most of the systems have been uh, improved. So you definitely understand that uh, without uh, ICT, uh, we cannot survive in our day-to-day -day lives, right? So when it comes to ICT, it's used in everywhere, everywhere uh, like e-government, in industries, businesses, entertainment, education, health, agriculture, transport. So all of these areas are currently affected by ICT. So first we'll talk about e-government, right? So you know what is a government, right? So when the government is uh, communicating with its citizens, companies, and other organizations using ICT, we call it as e-government, right? So there are a lot of uh, websites available, basically uh, like kind of information providers. Uh, so you can access them and get a lot of information, right? So when you talk about the government services, uh, there are G2C, G2G, G2B, G2E. What it means is G2C means government to citizen, right? Uh, G2G means government to government and G2B means government to business and G2E means government to employee, right? So in the first category, G2C, that means from the government, what are the things, services provided for the citizens, right? So for example, paying utility bills. Now you can do it online, right? Renewal of vehicle uh, license. Uh, uh, so a lot of uh, services are already provided online, right? Uh, for example, even the looking at the map of the Sri Lanka and analyzing and understanding uh, what are the areas and the roads and all these things, even that can be categorized under G2C category. And G2G means government to government, right? So, uh, for example, especially comes under tourism. This area can be uh, mentioned and 
especially visa information, government rules and custom related information. Those things are very important when we do the G2G, that means government to government communication. G2B means from government to business, right? So businesses need to know rules and regulations about business registration uh, and investment information, payment services, tax information. So all these things uh, are provided as a G2B uh, category. And G2E means uh, for employees, right? Uh, gassets, uh, new vacancies, forms, and other loan facilities, all these informations are provided for the gov from the government to the employee. So then comes the education. So now what I'm doing basically is coming under e-education. So uh, earlier days when we need some information, we have only books or some uh, people to ask. But nowadays, the whole thing is changed, uh, especially using internet. Uh, you can search any information. You can learn anything actually from your home, right? So uh, that is the advance in ICT in education sector, right? So uh, you can use this in the classroom, okay? You can learn anything at any place at any time, right? So that's one of the key thing. And um, even for teaching, we can use the education. So I'm using the, in, this as a teaching mechanism. You are using this as a learning uh, service, right? So higher education can be done very easily using uh, online mechanisms and um, ICT and learning management. So um, computer internet, we can definitely use for education, right? Uh, not only in uh, a virtual environment, even at the classroom, you can use this. You can use presentations to teach videos and images and all these things, right? Uh, even uh, you can gain a lot of information using internet. So at the classroom itself, we can use uh, uh, computers for the education purpose. So uh, Second thing is education at anywhere, right? Uh, so as I earlier tell, if you have an internet connection, now you can learn anything from anywhere, right? So now, for example, in this scenario, I'm teaching you ICT and you are learning. You don't have to go to a class. You don't have to uh, have uh, teachers and all these things. You just logging to uh, YouTube and then you just watch this and you learn, right? So basically web-based, uh, training and technology uh, learning and e-learning, distance learning, all these things are very uh, critical, especially in this era, uh, because um, with this COVID situation, there's a health uh, risk uh, to go to a physical place and learn. But in addition to that, it uh, helps to avoid a lot of difficulties in traveling and other expenses, and it saves time and money. Right, uh, you can learn at your pace. Uh, if you are free at night, you can learn at that time. Not like you are going for a physical class and learn. So that is the main importance in uh, ICT in education. So for teachers also, we can use um, ICT as a teaching aid uh, in the classrooms, in the other private classes as well. Because uh, it, now for me, it's very easy to uh, teach you this. Uh, I'm just using your textbook and I'm using um, Zoom to uh, share the screen and uh, that is done, right? So it's very easy and very clear and uh, uh, like that even uh, you can use presentations, videos, animations, a uh, lot of things uh, for, uh, for teaching, right? So it's more clear and it's more easy and uh, convenient, right? So LMS, uh, most of the schools may be not using, but if you think about universities, definitely most of them are using uh, learning management systems. Um, for example, we have a system where, for example, we can upload assignments, we can uh, upload all the lessons, right? Uh, teach and students can communicate, they can share the report. So that kind of service can be provided using an LMS, right? 
So in this diagram, it's uh, clear that uh, you can have student information, teachers information, evaluations, Q and A's, forums, administration stuff. That means you can have a your profile and maintain information on that. Planning courses, notes, assignments, supervision. So all these things can be easily done using a LMS, right? Most of the universities are having this. So for student, these are the uh, services provided by LMS and these are for the school management. For example, now if you think about LMS, why it's very important for a student, you can uh, learn easily at anywhere at any time, right? You can upload assignments, you can uh, ask any questions online and uh, you can participate in um, like uh, kind of activities together with other students. Parents can monitor their student, their kids uh, or their children's progress. So these are the important things at, at, at the, uh, with the aspect of uh, a student. But when it comes to the school management, uh, they can easily um, add quality uh, learning materials, right? They can also uh, maintain records and uh, identify and monitor the progress of the students. Uh, they can also uh, do the communication by submitting questions, by providing comments and uh, all these things with students, right? They can easily send uh, reports, so maybe to the parents, even for the students itself, they can um, share the reports and all very easily with the LMS. Higher education for everyone. Right nowadays, not not only higher education, even the primary education uh, can be uh, done uh, for anyone uh, using the internet and ICT, right? Because of the distance learning, like at the flexible time frame, you can do this. Uh, you can have online resources, not only library facilities, maybe books, videos. Uh, so many resources are there. Uh, and you can do online assignments, quizzes, you can uh, contact your teachers online, right? You can have uh, online sessions, very easy, right? And uh, comparatively cost also very less because you don't have to physically go for that particular place. You can at your own time, you can uh, do this, right? So now most of the classes and all they are done in, uh, online way, so uh, that's the most important thing. So ICT in health, yeah. uh, so every sector now you can see is affected uh, with the ICT, right? So especially in the health sector, the surgical devices and all these other technological uh, impact has been uh, there for most of these um, devices and appliance and all these things, right? So uh, these are very few things they have mentioned here, but uh, most of these uh, very sophisticated devices are controlled by ICT, right? So uh, ICT is used for diagnosis, right? Diagnosis means like uh, you're identifying, try to identify the disease and uh, do the relevant treatments accordingly. For example, CAT machine you may have heard, so this is used to get the 3D images of uh, your body parts, right? So that is very important for the uh, diagnosis. And MRI. MRI basically is for the like internal organs, maybe, a, maybe your brain or the internal organs, right? So using uh, strong magnetic fields, right? So most of the diseases can be identified using MRI scan. And ECG, it's related to the heartbeat, to monitor the heartbeat and check the electric impulse and see whether any uh, deviations are there. Cardiac screening machine, this is also uh, for the heart. It will be display the um, physiology of the heart and uh, it can identify the movements of the heart, right? Whether the veins are thin or do you need to go for a bypass, something like that. So all these things can be easily identified using this. 
and EEG, it's for brain activities, right? A small kind of electric probes will be attached to your head and uh, we'll analyze all the electric impulse uh, and see whether any deviations are there and it can be used to uh, identify any problems, especially in the brain, right? And uh, blood sugar testing machine, most of uh, your parents will have this at your home. So it can uh, analyze clear the blood glucose level quickly by getting a small drop of blood. Blood pressure measuring unit, uh, this is also basically uh, you can wear it like a wristband and uh, you, can, you can measure the blood pressure. So telemedicine, any idea what is telemedicine? So telemedicine means a person who, the patient may be far away from the hospital and the healthcare provider also in another place. So if they are not in the same physical place, but still using the ICT, they examine and provide the healthcare for a patient who is very far away, right? So by remotely connecting to the patient, uh, the hospital or maybe doctor or I mean specialist or something special uh, unit, they provide the relevant services, right? So here are the few uh, scenarios they're explaining uh, how can we use the telemedicine. So uh, emergency telemedicine, this, is, this means uh, basically the trained person is in consultation uh, with the uh, specialist in a hospital, right? Using a uh, te uh, telecommunication network, right? Patient may be in a remote place, but uh, still you communicate that because the patient cannot reach to um, the hospital. Now think uh, in a, um, an army person who is in the, really in the battlefield, they cannot quickly come to the hospital. So um, a consultant or a specialist can uh, communicate and uh, give relevant treatments uh, using ICT. Home health medicine means uh, the patient is kept at home and most of in this COVID situation, this has been practiced because they don't want to take the, all the patients to the hospital. They keep the patients at home and monitor their condition using a networked um, system. And uh, then based on the condition, uh, the specialist or the doctor can decide whether the patient should be transferred to the hospital or not. Next thing is telemedicine consultations, right? Sometimes uh, the medical students like kind of thing who are training, they can seek medical consultation of a specialist uh, using this way uh, because uh, if that specialist is not at the hospital, still they can get the advices and guidance over uh, network. Telesurgery, even the remote surgeries uh, can be performed with the specialist who is not physically in the operation theater, right? They can um, get the uh, guidance and do it, right? Medical trailer training, yeah, that's definitely can be done. So specialists can do training uh, based on uh, this mechanism, uh, even though uh, the uh, the specialist is not physically there, uh, they can maybe that uh, particular specialist in a different country or different town, but still uh, he can very easily train uh, using this mechanism. I said in agriculture industry, you know, in Sri Lanka, this is not very much practiced, but yes. Uh, we can use this uh, now for farming. We can definitely use uh, ICT related uh, things uh, like for accessing the weather changes, climate changes and uh, rainfall related information. Those things can be identified. At the same time, uh, devices like automatic insect controllers, right? So uh, the insects can be controlled and they can uh, control the insect population, right? Using these kind of machines, they will uh, have kind of sensors and identify and do actions accordingly, right? And field condition measuring uh, devices, uh, the, these devices can be used in the field and check like fertility levels, humidity levels, those things. And based on that, 
can decide what to do or how much water you should uh, add kind of like that. Drip irrigation, right? Uh, this is for the control of supply water, right? Um, as I told earlier also, uh, based on the water levels and all, they can decide how much water should be added. Automatic weed removers, you know, weed is the, like plants we don't want in the field. Uh, so those things can be automatically identified and can be removed. Right? These things are not very much used in Sri Lanka, but in other countries, yeah, even the plucking fruits and all these things can be easily done using machines. So seedling, you can use robots uh, and uh, other machines to uh, plant the seeds and crop harvesting, right? Uh, the robo machine or even the uh, machines kind of, they pluck the fruits or vegetables and they can uh, identify the level of uh, the uh, fruits and they can even categorize based on the knowledge, right? So that much advanced uh, systems are there. So greenhouse, you know what is a greenhouse basically, right? Uh, to protect the crops from natural disasters and uh, kind of like sunshine, rain, heat, pest and all these things, uh, we use greenhouses, right? We can use ICT to control uh, the light, moisture, air and all these things and uh, farmers can actually uh, go for very quality products. So uh, farmhouses also can use ICT, right? Uh, if you have gone to a Bevilla like farmhouse, you may have seen this uh, thing. Uh, in cows, they have used this RFIDs, right? Uh, so it's easy to identify and count these animals and with the, uh, to locate these particular animals in a large area, it's very, very easily can be done using this RFIDs. And even uh, Bevilla, you can see this one, automated milking and uh, extracting milk and checking the health conditions and uh, examining cows very easily can be done automatic way. Um, CCTVs, not, not only in farmhouses, most of the places now we have CCTVs to protect and uh, to record all these things uh, using uh, CCTV camera. So can be done monitoring very easy. So this thing has been uh, playing a critical role in Sri Lanka, especially with the accidents and all these thefts and all these things uh, because of uh, this, most of the evidence can be easily collected. Farm management, this is not very common in Sri Lanka for a very low, like, uh, local farmers, but uh, the ma main companies are doing this uh, using these um, various applications and devices and to calculate the profits, losses, and all the salary details and market range, stock details, all these things can be easily managed using uh, ICT. So um, not that uh, vegetable farmers from Nuorelia are doing this, but uh, other most of these like uh, jaguar like companies definitely use these things uh, for their um, information tracking and all these things and in fishing industries also we can use ict right uh, sensors can be placed in sea and based on these sensors you can quickly identify uh, about the uh, spread of uh, fish and based on that you can uh, plan your fishing ICT in manufacturing industries, right? Now, earlier days, a lot of human labor was used, but uh, industrial revolution, uh, this has been replaced by machines. So most of the devices are used instead of human labor because it's very low cost and uh, very efficient and all these things. You can see earlier, a lot of people were working, but nowadays robots and machines are working, right? So based on, because of the use of robots, 24-hour um, services there, they never get uh, tired, they never ask for promotions and leave, right? Very efficient, high, accurate, some, you may know, like uh, some operations are actually done using robot, right? Because it's, because of the accuracy, right? 
so um, robotic technology can be used in manufacturing packaging and like car productions labeling filling in lot of areas packing uh, those areas you can use uh, robots very easily video conferencing this is not very new for you now i hopefully guess you may have uh, already uh, participated in a video conference uh, but earlier before covid uh, this was basically used in um, most of the office environments uh, because uh, when uh, people are like uh, the same team may be geographically separated in different places different countries uh, maybe customers maybe um, the same um, team people uh, maybe marketing people so uh, it's very easy to have a video conference and have a meeting uh, because um, they don't have to go physically to that place uh, they can decide a convenient time and just log into the call right so nowadays video conferencing uh, is kind of a must in uh, even education even, and even in office environments so ICT uh, can be used in any industry, right? Uh, so they have mentioned how to use it in resource management, like HR related issues, uh, like even the attendance, very simple thing. Most of the organizations are using this uh, car readers and thumbprint readers uh, for the fingerprint scanners to get the attendance, right? So based on this, very easily you calculate the salaries and keep all the records of leave and all. So it's kind of automated, right? E Most of you have seen ATMs, right? So uh, using an ATM, you can withdraw cash anytime. You can get the balance, right? Uh, not only from your bank account, right? You, uh, for example, uh, from HNB bank, ATM, you can withdraw money of a commercial account even. So that means banks, commercial banks itself are interconnected, not only branches in it, uh, itself. Now, if you have an account in Jaffna branch, you don't have to go to Jaffna to get money. You can get money from Colombo, right? So that's how all the bank branches are interconnected, as well as all the commercial banks, not I'm meaning all the commercial banks like BOC, HNB, uh, HSBC and BB like that. All these banks are also interconnected. So um, you can uh, check your balances, you can pay your utility bills. Uh, so many facilities are now available. Online shopping, yeah. Uh, you can easily uh, buy products um, you, and services using online service providers, right? Um, so uh, it's 24 hour things and you can order and you can compare prices and you can uh, buy at uh, easy way, like you can use the electronic payment methods like credit cards, that they will deliver all the goods and services to your home. So uh, e-commerce or the online shopping was not a new thing, right? At the, with the COVID situations, most of the people were stuck at home. Uh, so we were like, we didn't have any option other than online shopping. Uh, hopefully your parents may be struggling to order from Kiehl's, Cargill's, Apico, like uh, supermarkets. Initially, yes, there were a lot of issues. Uh, these systems won were not up to the uh, expected level, but they quickly uh, improved themselves. Now, if you go to a particular site and see, uh, it's very convenient and very easily you can place an order not like uh, uh, like the last year March. Last year March, most of these systems were having a lot of issues. Customers are complaining, orders were like vanishing. Uh, and uh, because of the overload, even the supermarkets and other organizations cannot handle this online business. But now it's kind of a stable thing. They have improved themselves and uh, people itself also have improved how to use these systems and also uh, definitely you had a good understanding about this now. And ICT in transport, as I earlier told, uh, CCTVs, yeah, you can monitor traffic, accidents, illegal activities and all these things and traffic lights also can be automated. Uh, 
most of the colombo related areas they are automated um, so based on the pattern of the traffic and all uh, these time can be controlled Mm, so parking identification uh, placard that means especially this can be seen in a, like uh, organization level as well as like uh, these um, schemas and all so it's kind of a entrance pass like uh, based on that uh, when vehicle is come towards the gate sensor system itself will identify whether this vehicle is registered or not so based on that it will help to uh, open the gate no need of a separate security guard to identify the vehicles ict in entertainment yeah this part most of the people will be very familiar uh, because some students actually think internet is only for entertainment that's wrong uh, from the internet and ict uh, you can do a lot of things entertainment is only one part now you may understand right you can listen to music you can watch tv programs you can do social networking social media uh, you can uh, surf internet and play games you can read ebooks you can share photos and all these things so huge thing for the entertainment but always make sure uh, you know your limits right so this diagram also help uh, help you to understand the same thing uh, what are the things available for entertainment right so uh, in nowadays uh, there are so many computer systems sometimes even you don't know that uh, you are using it right uh, maybe a modern ticketing machine in a bus washing machine itself all these um, places you can see these computers and technologies are um, uh, like uh, included in all these machines and services so um, ict is everywhere right so that's the basic understanding you can get from this part of the chapter uh, so there's another part uh, for this um, chapter 1 so yeah let's meet with that thank you very much so if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and please do comment ask questions if you have anything and share these things uh, with your friends as well thank you